Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, February 28th, 2013, and uh, praise the Lord for another day, another moment in time, uh, one day at a time, one breath at a time. And uh, I just want y'all to know how much I appreciate you and all your responses. And uh, it just gives me hope. It does. And I'm glad that God's working through you, you know, to encourage me. And I'm trying to do the same to encourage you. I want to go today to, to uh, 1 John. Uh, I'm going to start with verse 5. This is the message we have heard from him and declare to you, God is light. In him, there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him, yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not walk and do not live by the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us all from sin. And I want to move over to Galatians 6, verse 10, and finish up with this. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Isn't it wonderful to belong to the family of believers? As we do. I know yesterday I was giving some shout-outs to a lot of churches, and, and I missed out some, uh, Smith Memorial, and, and, and just different ones that, uh, that I know are, are praying for me. You know, um, Terry Hunt's church, all, all y'all. I mean, just just know that I, I didn't mean to leave you out. I, I would never do that. But what I want to talk about today is is where is our church? You know, I, I like to fellowship with the best of them. I go to church because I want to sing praises to God. I want to hear the preaching and the teaching of the word. But, you know, I don't always feel like going physically or, or mentally. And, and a lot of you, you might not feel like going. You might not belong to a place that's called a house of God or a synagogue or a temple, you know, but this is our temple. Isn't that right? And churches in here, when I went, this is my interpretation. I ain't putting no words in God's mouth because he don't need me to interpret for him. This is Bernie Dula. I feel like when God's coming back to look for a church without a spot or a blemish, He's talking about us as individuals. That's how I personally feel. So I got to start with this right here. I got to clean this out. I got to have church right here. You know what? When I'm riding down Wilson Street and I see something I don't necessarily like that people may or may not be doing, I need to roll my window down and say, God loves you. Have a blessed day. You know, if I'm riding through West, you know, on the basketball court and everybody ain't shooting balls, you know, making three-pointers, I need to roll down the window and say, how y'all doing? You know, I'm praying for you. Please pray for me. I could be going through Hoods Creek, Hopper Town, Bush Town, Doola Town, Saw Mills, Baton, Downtown Lenore, Cedar Rock. <laughs> He's, who he was without sin, let him cast the first stone. You know, we all need prayer. Somebody needs prayer. We can have church right where we are. You don't have to have no big membership. I'm not trying to take away from no churches because I want you to have huge memberships, huge mega churches to praise God, to God be the glory. But I had to get that in there because there's some people out there who don't feel comfortable going. Might not feel like they got the right clothes, the right attitude. You know, maybe their heads is cold like mine. They ain't got nothing but a bargain to put on. We can't knock them. You know, we can't knock them. We're supposed to be good Samaritans. We're supposed to be walking in the light. And if you're out at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning where there's darkness, bring the light with you. Hey, you know, that's, a, that's the light of Jesus. I'm going to shine this place up. Holla, up in the club. I'm bringing light. Just an example, folks. Yeah. I know what I need. There's so many things I need to work on, but one of the things I need to work on a lot of times is my power of life and death in the tongue. What comes out, not what goes in the mouth, but what proceeded out of the mouth. My grandkids told me when they first come here, I was using some choice four letter words. Grand Brandy, you need a swear jar. I said, why do I need to pay myself for cussing? But I know where they're coming from. So I flip the script. I'm doing better. I'm a work in progress. Now when I see something, if I get upset, I say, look at that other trucker. That's good, wouldn't it? Or since I collect chickens, I can always say, what the cluck? You know, I'm working on it. I'm a work in progress. Even when I get, the, get them and bring them in here with whippersnapper, I can say, I'm going to whoop y'all's gas. No, that's a lie. I can't say that. Pray for me, y'all. Pray for me. I love you. God loves you more. As my cousin Princess likes to say, he gives us that peace that passeth all understanding. Hallelujah. Glory to God.
Thank you, Jesus. Y'all look at me on YouTube, please. Let's be a YouTube sensation. Let's get a movement going here for Chemo Crusader for Christ. Amen.